What's up YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another keto conversation. So let's get started. So hopefully everyone had a great Thanksgiving holiday uh, did you, and that you spent it with your family and friends. Uh, we had a good holiday. Our plans didn't go necessarily as as nope. we had laid out because nope. of a sick child, but we made we the best of it. We had our own Thanksgiving, no family involved. Yeah. So, so tonight, um, Sarah came up with a great idea. I'm going to give you credit for it because you Thank did come you. up with it. Thank you. Uh, to talk about, now you put low carb gift guide. It could be keto too, yeah. but so, I mean this would qualify for keto, low anyone carb. in your life or even yourself if you're going to buy yourself something Yeah, so we're talking about a keto low carb gift guide. And uh, we're just kind of going to go through some of these products that would be great ideas for people doing keto or as Sarah just said for yourself. Because right now is the time of year kind of where um, things can be on sale or yeah. you know they're more readily available for gift giving. And this guide is going to be some large gifts and some small gifts and then at the end we'll also have a couple of bonus ideas for stocking stuffers. Right. So. All right, so the first thing on the list is a spiralizer. So we have a spiralizer. We actually have two. We have a yes. manual and, and an electric, electric. version, mm -hmm. and they both work, I think, equally well. Yeah, yeah. it all depends on, you know, if you're going to be spiralizing a bunch of zucchini or a bunch of whatever type of vegetables that you choose to spiralize, sometimes it's nice to have the electric one if yeah. you're going to be doing a big batch of something. Yeah. But a lot of times if it's just CJ and I eating them, then we'll just use our manual one. Yeah, and we use it, if you're not, if you're not sure what a spiralizer is, it's a little, in fact we should have, I'll put a picture of it, uh, one of them in the video. But it's just a little handheld, the main hard one plastic is hard plastic with a blade. Yeah, it looks two like almost sizes. looks like a, it's like looks like an hourglass. Yes. And it's got two sides and you just basically would take a zucchini. And you can get or, either spaghetti size or fettuccine size yeah, generally. Yeah, and you just basically yeah. work it through this, this Now the electrical device. one is can be fancier because you can do like rosebuds and different, yeah. you know, thicker things, you know. Yeah. So those are kind of fun too if you especially if you're going to have a party and you want to yeah. You know, make some vegetable roses or something for your platters or yeah. stuff like that. They're so. pretty handy to have for people doing keto or low carb, the low carb lifestyle. We use it, we primarily use ours for doing uh, zoodle, like spaghetti. Mostly Italian dishes, anything right. that we're going to use, you know, fettuccine alfredo or spaghetti right. or anything like that. Right. I know Papa G, a couple of weeks ago, I had a uh, Papa G low carb had a recipe for, I don't know, something, but he used yellow squash and I said, nice. oh wow that was a good idea because we use zucchini a lot yeah. Yeah. but yellow squash works just as fine and, and yellow squash can kind of change things up so and i have used spiralized noodles for several of our recipes on the channel inclu including the tuna casserole and the turkey tetrazzini so right. a lot of times you you will use it for casseroles if you're following any of our recipes right uh, the next thing on the list is a blender slash food processor. Right. So now you're so talking about either or or either are or or sometimes there will be hybrids that will do both. Like yeah. if you get a food processor, sometimes it will also blend. So it depends on the, the style you that you yeah, get. Yeah, we but. we used to have a ninja something or another, yeah. and it. I guess it did both. It did blending and yeah, uh, it it, it processed and it also had the you know the cups that would fit on, on yeah, for, and to make do some things like and that and um, it became too old and so we are in the market ourselves yeah. for a new one. Yeah. So and one of the th the good things about this time of year is because of all the sales for Christmas, this is the time you might want to pick up if you need to change out something yes. that you have that's old yes. like like us i mean our processor blender just we had to get rid of it and so we're but you'd had it for several years yeah we're, so on, the, do. we're on the yeah. lookout for a new one and this is a good time to, to do and it. not just at big box stores like costco and things like that but also department stores a lot of times we'll be having specials this time of year yeah. so wherever you choose and amazon of course is always having specials and deals so yeah. that's it and you don't have to go anywhere <laughs> you can shop in your pajamas so. yeah uh, what's next on the list? Knives. Okay. Well, and CJ asked me why knives when I put this on the list. Yeah. I cut. I find chopping therapeutic. Not everyone does, but I enjoy it. But to me, it's essential to have 
a good set of knives that can be sharpened. Okay. And so you bought me a pair, a set for Christmas a couple of years ago, and I have my brother-in-law, Brian, sharpen them for me as often as I can because yeah. to me having a sharp knife is essential, not just for chopping vegetables that, that we use in this lifestyle, but also meat, you know, chopping up my chicken thighs, chopping up, right. you know, cuts of beef, um, you know, taking bones out and things like that. To me, it's really important to have sharp knives because you're much more likely to cut yourself on knives that are dull. So it's nice if you can invest in some sharp knives and they do make a good gift because yours was a gift to me a couple of Christmases ago and I was very happy with it. So I don't know if you should tell people that I gave you knives or Christmas a couple of years. Or a vacuum cleaner for my birthday. Well, you asked for <laughs> I am the kind of girl you are. You who asked, asked for stuff. and received a yes. vacuum cleaner for my birthday. Yes, you did. Okay? So let's be clear I'm about happy that. with it. It's what I asked let's for. Let's be clear about it. So, yes. But knives would be something that would be something that maybe somebody wouldn't necessarily ask for, but would enjoy. Yeah, would so, enjoy. it's not like you're giving them a scale. Okay? Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, so the next thing on the list is a bacon grease keeper. And this could be a small gift, or you could combine this gift with, say, a bacon, a monthly bacon subscription, hmm. or, okay. you know, something like that. Um, you know, Epic Meats and some of these, you know, butcher boxes right. will sell meat, sub will offer meat subscriptions both monthly and yearly, and you can right. combine that kind of as a, you know, a twofer where you have yeah. you give them the the bacon grease keeper and on top of it has their subscription for you know the mm. meat subscription yeah and if you're not sure what a bacon grease bacon grease keeper is it's just a that's it just it is what it sounds like it is a it usually comes in three parts yeah and it can be made of ceramic or it can be made out of stainless steel probably your grandmother had one a lot of times they just used a coffee can or things yeah. like that but what's nice about the ones that that they have nowadays is it includes a strainer generally right so then you pour your drippings through the strainer and that collects all the little tiny pieces of bacon right. so you have a nice pure white bacon fat and tonight cj asked me why the chicken thighs were so good and i said well part of the reason probably is because i used bacon grease to cook them in so yeah. it really it and does we, help you and we we use it. we use we do a lot of bacon mm -hmm. just on this lifestyle and we save the grease uh, and people have asked, well, does it go bad? And I don't think we, we have never had any problems mm -hmm. with going bad, but I will also say that we do, I rotate guess, kind of rotate the stuff out right. periodically a couple of times the, a year. throughout the it's year. It's not super where we, often. Where we yeah. will, you know, dump out the majority of it and get the stuff from the bottom and get rid of it and Put then new. start putting new yeah. stuff in. So, you know, it's, I knew when I grew up, my parents, my mom had one. I think her mom had one and so I just was used to seeing them and it was just something natural had nothing to do with keto or low carb it was just something natural that people in my family had and it was just normal to keep bacon grease so yes uh, it's a good thing to have the month we you know you mentioned the monthly meat subscriptions we aren't pushing anybody's particular no we aren't thing. affiliated we aren't right affiliated now with anybody's any kind of meat, meat thing. subscription yeah but. we aren't so but it is they're, they are out there, and it is something that you might want to look into if you're trying to think of a gift for someone or just right. even or for some, something for yeah. yourself. Yeah. So, But it would make a good, you know, like hybrid gift, like yeah. wrapping up the bacon keeper and then, having you know, the meat having the meat subscription on top. So it would be like right. a double, you know, surprise. So. All right. So the next thing you have on the list is mini waffle makers. Uh, for chaffles. Chaffle craze. Yeah, the chaffles are craze. yummy. So yeah. Both sweet and savory. Yeah, so you know we we have two chaffles. Yes, my sister gave me one as a gift and then I bought a second one on Amazon because it was like, well, they're not cost prohibitive. Why wouldn't no, you have yeah. two? And then you're making a set of chaffles each time you do it. So if I were yeah. making dinner for CJ and myself and say we were using them as hamburger buns, then it takes me half the time and I'm actually making a set of chaffles. Yeah. So. And so, and if you're not familiar with chaffles, uh, I guess we can put a link to the video we have, but chaffle recipes are all over YouTube. I mean, and you can make them with a traditional waffle iron. Yeah, you can. There's something that's really nice and convenient about using one that is already the size, the size of, of most of the foods that right. you're going to be consuming. And I think, I'm pretty sure the one that we have is a Dash yes. brand uh, waffle, mini waffle maker. Um, yeah. But they are handy. I, again, if you're not familiar with what chaffles are, we can put a link to 
uh, the video that we did on chaffles, but there are hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. Just about anything you could possibly imagine could be how made to make chaffles chaffle form. And, <laughs> yes. and if there's different ways to make chaffles, you know, the way we do it, it's probably... It's if, completely flour free. It's the, probably the way more, we do it. Probably, I think, more pure, but then there's people right. who are making them with flour and there's people right. making them with all kinds right. of stuff. The and ones and we there's, make are there's, no, there's no right or wrong. It's, it's just just your preference right. and what you want the product right. to look like. So anyway, mini waffle makers are a good gift to think about for either yourself or for someone you might know that's doing keto. or Even a teenager, if you have a teenager, it wouldn't even have to be someone who is necessarily oh, interested in keto or low carb. If you want to get something fun for your child that they might enjoy, they could use it as a regular waffle iron too. It's not just a that's standard true. ketogenic that's thing. True. So it could be a fun gift for anybody. And they probably life. are about the size of an Eggo waffle. Yeah, exactly the size of an Eggo waffle. Would, and would. that's basically what a chaffle looks like when you get it done, is it looks like an Eggo waffle. Like an Same waffle. shape and thickness yeah. and everything, so. Uh, let's see, you have mandolin slicer. Yes, uh, and I do not have one of these, but I have contemplated yeah. getting one, simply because um, much like your spiralizer, you can use it for cutting your root vegetables. Yeah. So we have a recipe for ham and scalloped potatoes, and I just used my sharp knife to cut the turnips for that recipe. Right. But so a mandolin faux, slicer would have scalloped potatoes. probably made it easier and they make them very nice now with interchangeable blades and a glove to protect your hand when you're doing the slicing i mean yeah but they're also not astronomically priced so right it's something that you know you could do turnips in or you know any of your other root vegetables uh radishes even depending on the size of the radish zucchini if you wanted to make zucchini slices if you want things that are really really thin right. You know, if you're interested in things like jicama and stuff like that. It yeah, nice I tried food. to make some jicama fries, and that would have been, it would have been really nice to have a <laughs> To have something like that. Uh, yeah, to, yeah. For, for jicama fries. Because, you know, you root vegetables, you want them to be firm, because yeah. that means they're fresh. But a lot of times, that it can be dangerous, you, yeah, even, even using a sharp knife. So sometimes having something like a mandolin right. is a nice idea. Right. Uh, the next thing on your list is artesian gourmet salts vinegars or oils yes. and so i had heard of uh artesian gourmet salts um i didn't know that there was anything such as vinegars or oils so i guess you're the expert on that <laughs> well salts you know salts come in all different flavors and yeah. varieties now you know you're i'm sure you're familiar with the himalayan pink salt and things like that but there's right. also different types of celtic sea salt that can be gray some of your mountainous salts can be black Mm -hmm. And so it's, they're just different varieties and a lot of times they come in little fancy packages and they're in little tiny glass jars with corks and they're different flavored salts from different regions and that can be kind of fun if, you know, maybe you used to get uh, a yearly jams and jelly subscription when you weren't a ketogenic lifestyle person. And mm -hmm. so this would be something in keeping along that same line, but it would be something that you could actually use as a low carb lifestyle individual. Right. Same with the vinegars and oils. You know, cool. olive oil is very popular. It's great on the ketogenic lifestyle. It's very good fat. And, you know, olives are a fruit and there are different, um, I guess, varieties of olive oil and also different freshness levels. So a lot of times if you're getting an olive oil that is a little bit more artisanal and maybe has some flavorings in it, sometimes they're flavored with different herbs or mm -hmm. garlic and mm -hmm. things like that. So it can be fun for people if they're cooking inclined to use something like that. Okay, so, so. another gift idea. Um, an air fryer. We've talked about getting an air fryer My at, parents at, have at one. our house for mm -hmm. quite some time. <laughs> one of our things that I guess hesitations in my mind is we do we have room for it because we actually do have. We a, live in a very we tiny have a house. small house, mm -hmm. small kitchen, limited space. Uh, Very all, little counter space. Although Sarah did point out that we do have, we would have space for an air fryer. We have this monstrous refrigerator. I just, I just kind of <laughs> wonder. I wonder sometimes if we would actually use it enough, um, and will we get the money worth out of it? But I know they're big. You know, they're a big deal now, especially mm -hmm. for because you can do what. Well, and even I think like yeah, I think companies, even companies like Ninja, are making hybrids where they're like an air fryer yeah. and a. A pressure cooker and it, you know it's doing all multiple tasks so yeah. if you are had ever been interested in something that 
you know, was like a pressure cooker or a um, toaster oven. Yeah, I mean, it does They've all got, kinds of yeah, things. I've it's like this crazy yeah, hybrid some, of a bunch yeah, of things a, that it does. Yeah, it's like air fryer slash air fryer slash grill slash yeah, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Pressure cooker and just, yeah. yeah, everything you yeah, can think it of. Even do your practically dishes. walks your dog. Yeah, yeah it'll do your dishes too. <laughs> But, but that's nice if you are interested in cooking things at high temperature and you don't want to heat up your house, you don't want to cook with a lot of oil and still get things that are crispy like CJ was so saying. So you don't have to use oil in any No, no oh, it's, okay. it's, it works on hot air, but it gives you the crispness. And like you were mentioning earlier, trying to do these jicama fries and trying to fry them, yeah. it might be a better idea if you're interested in trying some of those things to maybe invest in an air fryer and see if you can't get that crispness. Yeah. And so we we actually made we actually talked about since we figured out that we actually do have room for it, we actually may get one especially this time of year because again there's a lot of stuff on sale. Exactly. Um, and so we may get it. Uh, we'll we will always probably look at Amazon first. Yes. Um, but just because that's we shop a lot on Amazon, but I we're mean, prime members. Yeah, and, you can yeah. feel free to buy it however you want. But and, it, and a lot of times it's nice to look at reviews. Personally, I like looking yeah, at reviews. Yeah, but and anyway, I think we're going to get an air fryer, and we'll figure out where to put it once we get it, <laughs> get it home. Um, I've got room on my mammoth refrigerator. So the next one is a cast iron skillet. And so we have a funny joke in our house about a cast iron skillet. So one time there was a recipe by the folks over at Keto Connect. It was a breakfast skillet. And so, and they used the cast iron skillet. This and was a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Yeah. And so I actually made the recipe and I ordered a cast iron skillet following their link. Through, you did, through you failed to pay attention to the inches yes. of the skillet. And so it was probably about that big, <laughs> that big around. It's like the size of a pancake maybe. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Like the, a chopper. I was like, what the heck is this? What am I supposed to do with this little thing? Is this a skillet for ants? And yeah. <laughs> so we have a we have a cast iron skillet. Um, I didn't realize that cast iron skillets before that that they need to be seasoned and all right. that. I didn't realize that. Right. I mean, my folks grew up with cast iron skillets. I've seen them. They had them in my house. It was just a normal thing. Right. But I didn't know you had to do all that. Well, and I mean, them. cast I iron know. skillets are so valuable in yeah. some families that they're passed down as an heirloom yeah. because you know that you spent you spent that time seasoning them, and so it's like you can practically cook anything and it will come off like in a nonstick pan. So, yeah. if you follow the correct procedures and you take care of them the right way, they can last for generations because they're made out of iron. Yeah, so. and we were talking about you know so one of the things as I was looking at this list is well how come we don't have a cast iron skillet a real one. Not a baby one. We just have not purchased one. We just not that I wouldn't use one, one yeah. or try and, and so, take care of it, but we just have not. Yeah, and so I think we we're talking about that that might be. And you also that asked we, me what would be what, some of the benefits of having that, and yeah, part of that is because it's made out of iron, you, it will assist you in getting iron into your bloodstream from your food because it is made from iron. So when you're cooking things in it, it does help to give you. It hmm. helps to iron fortify your meals in a healthy way from actual iron. Okay. So. I did not know that. Yeah. But anyway, I'm sure there's a lot of our views that have cast iron skillets in it, probably just a normal part of your kitchen. We don't. Ha we have one little one, and in fact, I'm not even sure if we really still have it. because I, I think it is in the oven drawer. I haven't seen it in quite some time, but it's pretty tiny uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, the next thing on the list is... Now, these next two things are larger gifts like subscription boxes so oh well the next thing is a keto mojo right and i haven't talked about or heard i haven't heard of that in a long time i used to always hear that on uh jimmy moore's podcast, podcast. So we're it used to be on his them. sponsor we, and it is a blood ketone monitor. yeah it's a blood ketone so you, monitor. you prick your finger on like a blood glucose meter only right. it's to check for ketones and they have come down quite a bit in price they used to be hundreds of dollars and now they're you know, closer to 60 or $70. Right. And a lot of times it comes with the monitor and the blood glucose checking strips. strips. Yeah. So. And I think some of that might be because there's more competition now. There's right. probably, I think there's yeah. more and options it, it for people to buy. And it is supposedly the most accurate way to test your ketones. If you're right. a ketone tester or you know someone who is starting a ketogenic lifestyle, as interested or even you yourself, it can be a thoughtful gift because then they'll be able to keep track of their right. ketones. Right. And 
even these types of items there might be discount codes out there mm -hmm. that are available online we don't have one we don't have a Kyo Mojo ourselves personally mm -hmm. and we don't have a discount code we're just mentioning it as a gift because it actually would be a good gift yes uh, to give someone that's exactly uh, living a keto or low carb lifestyle yes uh, the next one we are familiar with, and that's the Keto Crate. And we do get uh, a monthly we, subscription. We do get a monthly subscription that. for that. And we have discussed that it would make a good gift. Yeah. Even if you just decided to get a one month subscription gift for someone, yeah. give them an opportunity to try it, or even get one for yourself and bring it over as, you know, you got invited to Aunt Linda's house and they're having snacks. Get a box for yourself get the things out of it and take it over there and let people try things you know yeah. it's it can make it makes a good gift idea because people might want to know if it's something that they would like to receive on a regular basis yeah. so. and again the Kia crate is it's a monthly subscription box you can start it and stop it anytime you and want and it's just curated ketogenic foods yeah low carb foods, snacks, and things like that. So it just gives you right. the opportunity to try different things. And that's also gonna correlate with our bonus points with stocking stuffers. Okay. And so if the keto crate, we can we can put a discount code for that. We do have, for first time users, it, yeah. there is a discount 15 code. 15% discount, yes. so we can put that in there. And you know, we get them all the time. The boxes, some months are great. Actually, most months are good. Some months, some of the products are better than others. But if I look, think about the entire year, mm -hmm. the majority of the time, the boxes are good. Some boxes are heavier than others. Some of them have more bars sometimes than mm -hmm. others. But uh, all in all, they're good products. And uh, I think it's a good thing if you like um, new products. It's fine, good for this time of things. year because, yeah. you know, people are getting like Hickory Farms boxes and, That's you true. know, things like that. So it might be still a way to to feel a part of the season where people are getting foods and things like that, but you're using it in keeping with the ketogenic lifestyle. Right. Yeah. All right. So the bonus part is stocking stuffers and that would correlate with things in the keto crate, things like low carb bars, low carb protein bars, keto bars. So like fat bars, mm -hmm. those make a good stocking stuffer. You know, you just get them and slide them in. You know, most people enjoy having those for snacking, for traveling, for hikes, and right. things like that. They're convenient to keep in your car right. in case of an emergency, especially with the weather getting bad. It's right. a good thing to have even in your glove compartment. And and a lot of those keto-type bars, you can find them more and more at local Whole Foods grocery things. stores. You mm -hmm. can find them. A lot of you guys live in places where they have Aldi's and Trader Joe's. Some of you live in bigger areas. Right. Uh, Sometimes you can even find them at Walmart. Yeah, you can find so, them at Walmart. I have found them at and Walmart. And so those keto type bars are good to have as yes. a stocking stuffer. Uh, Another thing is flavored nut butters. Uh, Legendary Foods makes quite a few of those and they come in fancy flavors like, you know, chocolate chip peanut butter and oh, butter yeah, yeah. pecan. That's right. You know, some, it's and there's also syrups. Yes, yeah, so, mm -hmm. you know, some nice alternative, you know, things you could put in that would fit nicely into a stocking that someone might enjoy. Right. So, right. and you can eat them just on a spoon, out of the jar, if it's your peanut butter, or you can put them on things like chocolate. Right. <laughs> and then, I think the last thing we have on, well, we have Lily's Candy. Or or other um, low carb candy yeah. companies. We have access to Lily's at our local, yeah. local grocery stores and Whole Foods. And we have Fred, here, we have Fred Meyers. Yeah. I think it's Meyers well, in the middle. But we like, but. we kind of go to Lily's a lot because of the stevia versus yes. the maltitol. Right. And a lot of the, because they ask, you can get, you can get like Russell Stouffer yeah. and get other sugar free things. But a lot of times it's got maltitol and yeah. that can spike your blood sugar. And and also cause gastrointestinal right. distress. Right, so. and so the lilies, one of the reasons that's kind of our go-to thing that is, is that because they're stevia sweetened, they are a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. um, but you can get them on sale from time to time. And a lot of times places. holidays, they will have them on yeah. sale so, because it is the time of year when people are giving and getting candy. Yeah, so, so and then I think lastly, we have candy nuts. We have several recipes yeah, well, on our channel. We have, you know, the butter pecans. We have regular roasted pecans. We have mm -hmm. the cinnamon sugar almonds. We've got things like... We have spiced almonds. Mm -hmm. and we then, have um, brittle, almond brittle. Yeah. You know, so we have different things that yeah, can be made. And if, and if you watch the brittle, if you watch the brittle video, 
I don't want to hear that your pan was about dirty. My pan was dirty. <laughs> you were making multiple batches. I don't want to hear it. Brittle. <laughs> no, it was dirty. It was a long time ago, so give me a break. <laughs> okay. Do you want the recipe or not? <laughs> so, so things like that could be made yeah. and put in, you know, a cute baggy with Christmas trees on it or whatever and tied yeah. with a ribbon and put in someone's yeah. stockings or for gift giving your neighbors, even if they're not ketogenic, it still is yeah. a nice gift to, to give or receive. I think we should dust off that spice nuts, uh, spice almonds, I think it was last year. Sure. I think we should make some our, for ourselves. Okay. Um, uh, so that's just some gift ideas that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we Feel have. free to add some further suggestions in the comments. Yeah. yeah. And Yep. Things we didn't think about or things we didn't mention. And a lot of this stuff, yes, you can find it on Amazon. Yes. We, we do have all of these things linked have, in our Amazon favorites links, list. But so if like, you're interested in the exact product that we have purchased, it will be in that yeah. list. But you're not under any obligation. Yeah. We just provide that as a courtesy when people ask us, hey, you know, where do I find this or what one do you have? Yeah. It's just there. You can look at it. If you choose to buy through our link, great. Yeah. If you don't, no problem. Yeah. So anyway, that is the Kia conversation for this week. We um, hope that you have a good rest of the week. If you're new here, we do these Kia conversations every Wednesday. We do new recipes every Sunday. Uh, we are on the second week of our Christmas holiday Kia recipe series. I don't know what the recipe I'm, is. I am going to be doing something a little different because generally when I do my recipes, I do sweet, savory, sweet, savory, so that you end up with two savory recipes a month and two sweet. But because it is the holiday season, I'm going to be doing two weeks back to back of cookies because mm -hmm. Santa is coming and he's going to expect cookies to be left out for him. Okay. And if he's practicing the ketogenic lifestyle, he's going to need some sugar-free cookies, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So cookies are coming. Um, I think this week there's yep. some type of cookie coming and, and, then, next, week. and next week as well. Yep. So uh, stay tuned for that. So be sure to subscribe uh, so you don't miss that and then hit the notification bell so you can be alerted as well. So we appreciate you being here and thanks for watching. We hope that you have a good rest of the week. Bye bye. Bye. Peace. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful